Hi YouTube and welcome back to another video. I am going to share with you guys a Christmas de-stash lot. Um, it mostly contains uh, 12 by 12 papers, a few embellishments and ephemera uh, pieces. This lot will be US only, PayPal family and friends. In this lot, um, just put in the subject line uh, Christmas lot so I'll know which uh, the stash you are inquiring about and I will let you know if you are the first responder and I will give you my PayPal information to go ahead and send your payment. I ask that you pay within 30 minutes. If you do not pay within 30 minutes in order to be fair, I will go to the next buyer. Um, and I think that's it. So all of the information will be um, um, in the description box below. So you can open that up. It will also contain my email. All right, you guys. So let's just get started and let me share with you guys what I have for this lot. I have this October afternoon stickers. Super, super cute. I have um, city sidewalks and these are called partial tags. And I may have used one or two out of this pack. I also have the city sidewalks paper. And I have used a few sheets um, out of this paper. But um, as you can see here on the side, in, right here on the side, it's still a lot to play with. Where I can give you a really good look at the papers that are in here. Yeah, I actually can do this a lot easier. So I want you to know exactly what you're getting. This has a vintage feel. through quickly this is really nice okay so those are all of the papers in that stack I also have this old oh dear decorative tags and like I said, I, I don't know if I've used any, but if I did, if you can see here, there's a lot in here. If I used some, it, it may have been one or two. I have the sleigh bells. These are 22 decorative brags. I have this. This is by Studio Calico. And they're, um, you know, some journaling cards. Good look. This has foiling on it that says this is magic. And then here's the back where you can get a look. And you can pause the video if you like to get a good look at the pieces that are in here. All right. I also have the October afternoon, um, some ephemera pieces. I have this right here. This is also October afternoon. And I may have used some pieces in here, but there's still quite a bit to work with. And then I have these geotags. These are chipboard shapes. And then I have this. It's also October afternoon, six by eight paper pack. And here are the papers that are inside and I, I don't think I use any in here not that I can recall the gingerbread right there is really cute all right and then I have um, this is called 12 days of Christmas uh, by uh, my mind's eye this is eight and a half by 11 48 sheets and this is brand new because it still has the strip around it so I have not used any papers out of here 
and I don't want to open it. I want to keep the package um, intact, but I'll bring this up so you can check out the papers in here. Really fun papers. Um, the traditional red and green mostly. Has some blue also. Really nice. All right, and then I have some of these um, enamel dots that match some of those ephemera pieces. I have this um, cute little stamp right here. And then I have some paper um, from Heidi Swap. I have used some papers out of this stack just to give you a heads up, but there's still a lot to play with. Also with this paper pad, when I sent, ship it to you, I'm going to be putting it in a large flat rate um, shipping, but um, that, that uh, box measures 12 by 12 and sometimes it's a little over, so I will have to um, trim the edge right here of this cover so that and I may have I think I may have to go in and trim some of these papers down um, so that it will fit in the um, you know in the priority box we'll see I may be able to get it to fit but we'll see but anyway let me do a flip through so you can see all the papers that I have in here a lot of you are already familiar with Heidi Swap Christmas paper it was very very popular Just doing a flip through. Love the Santa page. Oops. Just skipping there. As you can see, there's still so much to play with. Okay, I guess I got all of that. This is really pretty. You see that? It says uh, Merry and Bright. Love the cutouts of the cut apart. And there's some pieces in here that I use, and I'm going to leave it in there for you to use. And this says Merry Christmas. So that's the Heidi Swap. And then I also included in this lot the Be Bold, Be Bright. I have the eight and a half by 11 and then i have the 12 by 12. i may have used a few sheets but not much uh, from this um, i'm going to flip through the eight and a half by 11 but you have this whole big old stack right here oops of, of the 12 by 12 so you can see there i barely used it so you have all of that and as well as the eight and a half by 11 and let me do a flip through so you can see this it does have gold foiling so it's foiling on every page looks like really really pretty papers and these papers you can use these for any of your projects it does not have to be Christmas it just uh, when I purchased it it was around Christmas time that they had this, but you definitely do not have to use this for Christmas, as you can see. I just wanted to include it because it was initially meant to be uh, a be bold, be bright for Christmas. I think, <laughs> I believe it was. Okay, so anyway, that's by the Paper Studio and I have some um, little, embellishments or, and things to go with it. I have some bows, the green, the pink, the orange. I have these ribbon right here that goes with that collection. I have two of those. And then I have these bows right here as well as the place cards. So you'll get all of that yumminess to play with. And then I also have the ballet. This is by Recollections. I have used some papers out of this. This is an old stack, but it's very nice papers. And um, if you like the Nutcracker, you will really, really like this paper collection. 
because it's, you know, it has like scenes from the Nutcracker, as you can see there. Really cute. And it has like this plum green, you know, or this plum and green color. I didn't use very many sheets out of here at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and de-stash it. I'm having to downsize my crafty supplies to make it easier for when we move. And I don't want to have to move so much stuff, so I'm trying to downsize. All right, next up, I have the um, Lost and Found uh, Christmas is um the glitter designer paper 12 by 12. i have used some sheets out of here but as you can see right here there's still plenty to play with so let me flip through really quickly this is this was also very popular um really pretty it also um, has like a vintage feel to it Okay, and then lastly, I have um, I have some of this washi tape, and it goes with the Webster pages papers that I'm going to share with you. So let me see if I can go through this really quick before my 15 minutes is up. Um, I'm gonna have to cut the bottom of these papers off in order to let you know the strip here so that it will fit in the priority box. So it'll just be the strip down here at the bottom of the paper will be, um, you know, left intact. So these are Webster pages and um, I'm gonna go quickly. They are front and back. And I know it doesn't look like Christmas, but these are considered Christmas papers. See right here, it says, Dear Santa. Again, this to me is like, you know, a vintage -y type feel. Sorry. <laughs> and this is by Echo Park. This is also front and back. I'm going to include these um, single sheets as well. This one is not, this is authentic. There's two of those. There's another one there. It's stuck on there. And these. And then I have these papers right here. These have some glitter on them. So these loose sheets will also be in that collection. Or will be in this lot. And all these are the same at Scrap Passion 01 at yahoo.com. And I'll let you know if you are the first responder. Thanks, you guys. Stay tuned for more D stashes. Bye.